five four of the promised Neverlands. I mean, it was an interesting chapter, so to speak, but it could have been dealt with with Ben. It felt this felt like a rushed chapter. Chapter. But anyway, let's talk about a little bit more. And let's crack down with the intro, and then let's talk about chapter 154 of The Promised Neverlands. So without further ado, one, three, two, one, hit the intro. Okay, so the chapter opens off exactly where last week's chapter ended. Uh, with uh, Emma and Ray saying, we're here to save you, we're here to protect you and everything. And then it goes into a little bit more about how how they, how the experiments caused seizures and everything like that. And, and that Norman is on stage four of the seizures and his group were a little bit annoyed that he would they didn't tell him or they didn't or he didn't tell them about that he's stage four because he wanted to make sure that he was still able to do stuff so that they could depend on him and everything like that what is understandable when you are a leader of a rebellion of uh of orphaned or farm children and you're leading a rebellion against the demons and it really seems to be the case here as well but it's one of those systematics that I was wondering, why has it gone this far? So they talk about how they're tr uh, how Musica, Sunjo, and the others are trying to trying to stop the poison spreading and everything like that, uh, with Don and Gilda doing it as well, well and everything. And then they were talking about how um, how. Alvin, I think. No, not Alvin. I think it's Alvin. Or Al. Uh, the big bulky uh, child uh, from Lemda uh, ended up not having any seizures at all. Not even one time. Not at any moment at all. And it's just made me wonder how uh, how that was even possible. Uh, then Vincent mentioned, but they mentioned that he's not had one after being away for nearly two years away from him. Dar he had not had one seizure, seizure because of the medicine. And now that type of uh, with, with the experiments and everything really reminds me of of the Punk Hazard arc arc uh, in One Piece. You know, with Caesar Cl uh, Crown Clown uh, giving the uh, uh, experimented kids that that he get made into giants, uh, sick and uh, every, and candy and that, and the candy contained the drug and everything and they become addicted and if they don't get it they end up having like seizures what then makes them go into a rage or spasms. It reminds me of that quite a lot and this is another case for that as well and it really shows that. Uh, that hopefully in time, without uh, with two years without away from it, could actually stop them needing the drugs or the uh, medicine for the uh, for the seizure, and hopefully the seizure might end up going away, um, way, and uh, hopefully that's the case. Vincent was slightly a bit annoyed with with how Norman has now decided to go back against his plan plan and everything like that but he's a little bit more opened up a little bit uh, more where he's a bit more acceptive and accepted a lot more than he should have and it's a little bit more that it's a change of pace now and you could really see it in in the air uh, in the chapters as well the end panels the end chapters were very suspicious i think that's the queen that's standing back up without her head that i think is the queen uh, and I think she's, uh, because of the poison in the weapons, I think she's starting to degenerate as well. Well, because uh, that was a, a very shocking end of the chapter. That's probably going to be my thumbnail there. There's how that um, how that has been. But it really is an interesting chapter in the least. It felt slightly rushed because of the explanations of 
the seizures and the experiments and everything like that. It's a little felt a little bit rushed, rushed about that explanation. But I really do think it is there in a way to, to that could have been explained a little bit more and a little bit better. But other than that, it has done its job, and I'm actually really grateful for it as well. As well, so hopefully that is the case. So other than that, I've been your host, Kai from Kaiser T Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya. Hey guys, Kai from uh, Kai from Kaiser T Corner here, and um, and uh. I want to remind you that you can find the links to my Facebook fan page and my Twitter account down in the video description down below. And on both of those, I try to do exclusive content on there, like updates to what I'm trying to bring up to the channel and uh, and little other extra videos and stuff like that that won't be appearing on the YouTube channel channel and stuff like that. But that's pretty much what they're there for and to also interact with the fans and other people that support my channel and everything like that. So you can follow the links to those two pages down in the video description down below or in the URL above in the video that you have seen. So please, please check them out as well. So yeah, so so yeah, check them out. Hey guys, hopefully you liked this week's review for the chapter 154 of The Promised Neverlands. I really did enjoy uh, reading this week's chapter and I really did enjoy it, but I like I said in the main review that I did felt like it was kind of rushed in certain uh, explanation sections of the chapter chapter, and it did feel rushed and, uh, and everything like that. Uh, but like always, I'm going to leave it over to the card and the poll for you guys to rate the chapter yourselves out of 1 to 5 what you thought about. It, and then we can discuss about it down in the comment section down below as well. So, so yeah, what do you rate this chapter out of 1 to 5? Also, you can check out my other videos that are appearing probably nearer to the end of the video. Uh, you can check out the last week's review, you can check out my most recent upload, and you can also check out the playlist for The Promised Neverlands as well. But also, do not forget to hit that like button, and then if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that that but anyway i've been your host kai from kazu take corner and i'll see you next time bye bye for now see ya